This is going to be a really simple tutorial on how to make complex shapes in SketchUp. Now, this is the first part of two. In this one, we're going to do the easiest way possible to make a complex shape. And in the second one, we're going to do something a little bit harder, which is still achievable, but if you're in a rush or you're not too confident with SketchUp, this is probably the best one to start with. Now, by a simple shape, um, I don't mean things that are quick and easy to make. Um, for example, there's a tutorial of making little robots on this playlist. That is takes some time to skill, but it's simple in that you're creating a single shape, extruding it, and then maybe making a cut, maybe making an extrusion on that one, so you're developing it into something. Um, a complex shape is one which you can't just pull out and have it done. So for example, this water bottle. It's, you can do a quarter profile or half profile and revolve it around the center and you pretty much have that. You can make a few cuts, but if you're thinking about the shape which um, all dimensions, so X, Y, and Z, have a changing profile over space. So if you think of a shoe, um, the bottom side of the shoe, the face, that will kind of make this shape. The um, side of the shoe will do kind of this, going up to the sort of heel, and then it curves over in different profiles. So that one is complex in that it's got different things. So I'm going to show you how to you make things like this in SketchUp to make your ideas. Now, obviously, most importantly, SketchUp is a tool for making your ideas show. So you work on the idea, get your design, get your idea. And once you're at the point of going, this is what I want to make, then you go make it. You don't start on SketchUp and then try and find your way. So we, we think it's an idea of a giant shoe as a house. Um, so I'm going to leave this guy here. Usually I just delete him, but for this purpose, I'm going to keep him here and you'll see why in a second. So first thing is going to 3D Warehouse and click Get Models. And I'm going to choose Boot actually. Now let's see if there's any models for Boot. And straight away, we've got lots of really good um, images. I'm going to choose ones I like. Um, I quite like these ones because they've got quite a funky um, design. So right click there, import directly into models, and that's loading in very slowly. So here we are, and I'm going to just place it there. I'm not too sure what that um, block is. So in this case, it looks like the download hasn't worked. So I'm going to just leave that and try and find another one. Just be aware that 3D um, Warehouse isn't um, the most controlled environment. So as you can see, I've managed to download some boots, which aren't exactly the same ones I thought originally, but that's actually fine. Now, well, I think the ones before with problem had these big blocks. That was just the developer who we were working with. So if you persevere, you'll find something which roughly like it. Now, the thing about SketchUp is that while I try and work in one-to-one -one scale, not everyone does. So I was expecting these boots to come in at about foot size, but in reality, they're absolutely massive. So it's good to keep this guy there just to remind yourself how big these really are. So we're not going to be scaling up, we're going to be scaling down. That's fine. So first thing we want to do, if you want to turn this into some kind of building, is you click on that, select, right click, and then explode. What this does is it takes the group into its original components. We can see here that we've got one there and one there. We just want to have one boot for our building, not two. So I can take that one and just delete him. That also will help by freeing up memory on the computer. So what we've got here is a basic shape. It's moved around and they've put a texture over there. So the reason why I say this is the easy way to do it is because some people use different plugins, different techniques to make things, make different software and import them, so you can get really complex shapes that are just very difficult to use with the basic elements of SketchUp. So, right click this and we're going to say explode further. So what we've got here, it's actually, we you see that, I can't quite see it, it's like a mesh. Now, if we have our own colours we want to use, we can just select down here and let's go for this and you can just drop it on. Okay. So we've now made that there. And you can go and edit this just like you would edit anything else. So if I want to cut the side of this, now at the moment it's at a weird angle, I don't really like that. So 
I'm going to fix that. It's going to take this and take that. Oops. Set the whole model first. And use mutation tool. If I can just turn the views bottom, I can see that it's going to snap to red axis. I'm not sure it's quite works, so I'm going to do it again. Everything's all selected, say so one and toe. Let's move it there. One and toe. Yeah, that's not red axis. The reason why it doesn't look quite right is that if we turn parallels on, you can see that actually is correct. Actually, I'm going to get further. I'm going to move. Um, actually, I'll leave it there, that's fine. So, if I go to the views right, or even front, I want to cut my boot off at about there, just because, you know, in this case, I do. There we are. Um, so, I'm going to take this, and I'm going to extrude it, and make it a bit higher. So, that's good for me. Take this, and make it components. To make life nice and easy. So cameras to infuse front. Take this component, which it now is. Just move this side there. And we can see that that's intersecting quite nicely. So select, oops, selecting everything. We can right click and we can intersect faces with model. Take this, delete, and we can see how we can do its cuts. Now, Another thing we can do, now that's making various cuts, and we can start to go into section planes, we can start to um, look at the inside, we can start to put doors in, but another way, that's just one thing you do. Now, another use for this, if I just go backwards, so I haven't deleted everything, there we are. So I can make that cut across there, which means that this section at the top, in blue, is different to one at the bottom. So I want to have a different kind of finish, now I'm making that like metal. Okay. So if I know the design I want to have on there, I can draw it, project it, cut it, and then fill it in. So I'm going to have some vertical stripes here. Let's have a look at doing that. Um, standard views front. Once again, a lot of this stuff is about using the knowledge you have in SketchUp to do cool things. So let's just actually um, let's take this. All this is I'm just thinking on the fly. Okay, so do that and let's have 6x. Okay, so it's cool. And I'm going to, you might be able to guess what this is going to be. It's like Rolf Harris, kind of like Nazis, yeah. Okay, so we've done that. I'm going to clear up these, this. Okay, so I've got three stripes there. Okay, that's nice and cool. And I'm going to obviously take this and extrude them. So all the way through. Do this on face, do that on face, put it together. Make components. Yep. Standard views front. Now let's take this and move this across. That looks kind of nice. Let's go a bit further. Let's actually do it there and then move it down. As you see, it's fully intersected, so it's going to work really well. Select everything, intersect faces with selection, take that, delete, and we've got our nice cuts. So I'm going to choose a colour, so it's going to be University of Manchester purple. And there I have. Now this is going to take um, out of time, I might want to consider deleting half the boot, half the shoe, and then when you finish, just mirroring it across. That's probably um, the fast way to do it because you get it right once and that's it. But you know, it's a really simple technique. 
And if I want to have University of Manchester yellow for the bits, you know, you start to see that your design here, you might not get the actual shoe design that you really wanted, but with this, just taking an existing one, then modifying it into something which is kind of close, you know, you get the impression. And the idea of step four with SketchUp is taking your ideas and giving the best impression you can. Getting close to it, you're saying, this is what I'm thinking, I make a visualization. So I'm making a really funky kind of boot here. And you know, I can do more cuts, I can do modifications, I can add bits away, I can take things, I can put fills somewhere, put whole doors in. I can take other models and put them in. Um, but that's just how you go. So I keep going on about this and do more work, but I'm not going to. But that's how to take a 3D warehouse model, import into your work, edit it, and get something really complex, more complex than you to have the basic skills how to do.